Oh, marking. Marking. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see him? <laughs> yeah. Well, you have seen what's going to happen this morning. I'm here with Brad Hoffer, somewhere here in the Midwest. We're walleye fishing. We got out here real early, and I tell you what, I'm like fishing with with the, the fish god today. Holy cow! What a show with the quad. Got an awesome ride out here to our spot. Power auger. And here we are almost right away, about 10 minutes after we set up. He's hooked his first walleye, come off there. What a show we got in here for you. Now Brad, real quick, I don't want you to stop from your fishing, but what do you think today's gonna be like? Well, I mean, you, you were talking about the forecast today. That's a good sign. Pressure's good. Hopefully, uh, we'll get hooked on a few. Uh -huh. Two and eight, this is gonna be a good show. Starting off good. Damn. I'm gonna tell you what. We are putting on a clinic on how to set the hook. Oh, shit. My, damn, my blind spun out of my reel. Did you see that? I did. Oh, I heard it. Damn it. Oh, you bit it, though. Drop back down on it. That's hilarious. Oh, my gosh. You stinking poop. Come on, before I go out. Fire him strong. Oh, my you. And just keep, I just keep winding up slow. Are you still on, is he right on top of you? Nope, he went back down. He started coming up real fast. Yeah, so usually they come up fast, just keep going, just keep, try to like, keep away. And they'll, they'll just end up whacking it. Got him. Yeah, but he barely even had it in his mouth. It's small, right rock bass. Oh, it's a walleye. Oh, it's a walleye. Oh, it's a walleye. First of the day. It's first time in my hand. Yeah. There it is. Walla, walla. Walla City. Monster. Hey. Monster. Can you see my, my graph very well? Yeah. You see this walla coming up in me? Usually, usually there's like, it'd be like a red line and you'll see them green lines underneath it. Like, yeah. it's because they come up like this, you're watching the camera, like, they're like straight up when they come up after it. So I think that's why there's little, little green lines underneath the red line. Yeah, it's just like, it's like a dandelion. You just hold onto the head, just about right behind that, right where its belly turned white right there. Okay. You just bust off about that much. And that's the part you put and then, Yeah, then I just kind of hook it. Yeah, how do you? I just take your, uh... Kind of hook him on there. Yeah. So, I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but it seems to do for me. Yeah. Shoot! <laughs> You get that on film there, yeah? Yeah. Shoot! Get him in the boat. Is it a good one? Nah. nah. It's a fish, though. Oh, oh shoot! <laughs> <laughs> See, we will let Brad catch all the walleye. I get the uh, rock bass. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a good thing because obviously I can barely control my rod after I said the hook. <laughs> hey, about three or four out of your hand. Yeah, we do a little bloopers take today. Yeah, throw them on there. So it is February 2nd, 2019, and we got some really unique weather that's been going on here. Literally, two days ago, it was negative 23 degrees, had a big massive polar vortex come down, closed up pretty much the whole entire state, schools, post offices, everything. Freezing cold air. Now today, today, like I said, two days later, it's going to be in the upper 30s with rain coming this evening. So. We, we got a saying here in the Michiana, well, I guess that narrows down where we are a little bit, that if you don't like the weather, wait 10 minutes. It's going to change. Now, with the with the pressure and all, Brad's my pro here, not me. Well, you watch videos, you know that. So, Brad, if, if you're going to think, how that's going to impact the fishing? I just hope it's going to turn them on. Well, I'm always hoping. I'm hoping everything turns fishing on. But I always catch more fish when it's raining. And when it's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So fit, right, fish and rain is good. Yeah, you know, it's only uh, about 7 a.m., so it's still dark outside. 
Uh, and uh, we've seen fish on the graph. Brad had one on already and a couple other bites, so it's a good sign. Oh, what you got? You got some there? Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at here. Oh, yeah. You got yourself a large. Oh, look at you. Think they're in the weeds there, huh? No weeds in this lake. No weeds. Uh uh. Wow. Very nice. Nice bass. All right, let's see if we can get ourselves a walleye. Marking. Oh, yeah. You did the same thing mine did. You about lost them. Woo. Real froze up. I think I've got my handle. Yeah, what we got here? Oh, we got yourself a walleye. There we go. That's it. is well that's a wrap got some walleye tips from brad hoffer appreciate him coming out here and showing how it's done here in his shanty out here in midwest somewhere the, the bait of choice was a jigging rapala and uh big, big thing he really focused on was bright colors chartreuse and white and blue colors to uh, appeal to the walleye the action that brad was using you can see there on the camera how he pumps it really Pumps it nice, smooth pumps though to attract fish into the area. And then as the walleye appears, or a fish, uh, sees it on the graph, I should say, on the flasher, he works it up very slowly. Wasn't the greatest bite, but boy, we had some opportunities that we really kind of blew. Had a five or six different walleye on, and only landed two. Got that bass and big rock bass. Tough bite in overall, but in all honesty, it could have been a real good day. We both could have had uh, several walleye to bring home if we'd land what bit for us. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you make comments on the bottom. Hope you like it, subscribe, get the notifications tab. Until the next time I see you on the water or on the ice. Thank you for watching.